Brian Wright, Daily B 100 and I have no idea. Hey, this is Brian Wright with the Daily B, brianwright732.com, fitin.com, P-H-I-T-I-N.com, my newest venture, ptbme.com, P-I-T-T-I-B-I-M-I.com. So, I have not run a vlog for a little while, and it become, comes down to just basically, it's not been easy. I've got a lot going on, a lot of moving parts uh, in the company, no excuse, just... I'm busy and uh, I've taken the opportunity to focus on really what matters right now. Not that you and this vlog don't matter, but getting business done every day is the most important thing we can do. So what's a trying thing that I've been coming about? And basically we're hiring a lot of uh, young people into the corporate side of the business. And I've, it brings up a thing for me, which is you have to have audacity and you have to have humility. So you have to have the audacity to go for it when you're trying to get a job in a good company in advance or even start a company and grow it. You've got to have that audacity. You have to have that ability to say, I really don't care what you have to say. I'm going to do this anyway because that's what it takes to get ahead. That's what winners do. Winners don't wait for permission. More times than not, they ask for forgiveness after they do what they felt was right in their heart, in their gut, based on their skill set and knowledge. So if you're making moves that you think and know and feel are right, you have to have the audacity to go for it, no matter what the market, no matter what the people are saying at certain times. Ultimately, I'm bringing the market back into this because I just mentioned it, Ultimately, the market's the one that's going to dictate everything. If you're pushing too hard, too fast, you can get ahead of the market and they're not going to accept you. And then you're going to have to have patience and you're going to have to wait for them to catch up to you, which may never happen, whatever. You've really got to understand your relationship with the marketplace, but you can't be complacent or slow or hesitant because that's when the market passes you by. That's when you're not doing things that get you noticed. And that's where the audacity factor comes in. You've got to behave in a way that's going to do justice for the market with the need you're trying to fulfill while capturing attention due to the bold, you know, actions and, you know, things you do with your product. Now, here's the humility part. So no matter how good you are, no matter how great your product is, no matter how out of the park you've hit it, if you don't have the humility to have empathy, to employ patience, to listen to what the market says, to look at what your fellow employees say, to listen to your boss, to have respect for chain of command, for positions, then you're just not going to be able to find your place. Because at the end of the day, it's not about you. It's about how you fit in to whatever it is you're doing. Do you see that? It was a little bit of a a little throwback to the fit in thing. Oh, now we're starting to understand why my company is called Fit In. But I'm not talking about conformity. I'm talking about operating in a way that creates a benefit for the people around you, for the community in which you operate, for the marketplace in which you're trying to employ your product or service or whatever. So if you want to come in and you want to disrespect the people around you by, you know, being arrogant, see, audacity and arrogance are different things. You know, arrogance is an attitude and a way of operating that doesn't take into account, you know, the needs and doesn't respect the people around you. It makes people feel that you feel you're above everyone. And when you're a 20-something-year-old person coming in and working with an upper executive team that's been doing this for longer than you've been alive, maybe you should just tone it down a little bit and maybe you should listen more, you know, speak less. And just do what you're told to do instead of trying to come in and act like you know more than you do. Because history really defines the direction of most places. And the people that have been here the longest understand the history. Now, at the same time, that history can cause us to get into ruts and whatever. So we do have to listen to the next wave of things so that we understand how to stay current. But again, it's that balance. You can't come in heavy on one or the other. It's a mutually beneficial you know, trade we're trying to do between generations to make a business successful. And that's my greatest challenge. I mean, I'm running a company that was founded by my family. My mother is the CEO of this company, and I'm working with her. And again, I'm 43. She's not. So she'll kill me. I think I've said her age, but I'm going to stop doing that before she catches on. But she's, you know, older than me, and she's been doing this a lot longer than me. So she knows what she knows, and I know what I know. And it's the, it's the combining of our generational knowledge that is going to, you know, propel the company forward. So I have to understand the history and the process that got her to where 
you know, she was most successful, and then we have to translate that to a current marketplace model. Simple as that. So if you're 26 years old and coming into, you know, a company like this or any other company and you think you know it all, you don't. And you need to understand that. And you have to have the audacity to say you know something, but you have to have the humility to admit that you don't know everything. Focus on what your strengths are, focus on what value you can bring to the company, which ultimately will bring value to the marketplace, and that is your space. That is where you're going to find your success. Don't come in and say, I wrote the book. You're too young. You're too green. You don't know enough no matter what you think. So, you know, I've been, I've been really thinking about this, and the funny part about business and entrepreneurship and life, whatever, as m- much time as you think it's going to take, it's going to take more. As much money as you think you need, you're going to need more. As much energy as you think you're going to have to put into it, it's going to be more. And as long as you think it's going to take for your product, service, or whatever to grow, it's going to take more. It's just the nature of the beast. It's always going to be more than what you ever thought. So you have to have the audacity to go for it, the patience to ride out however long it's going to take, and the endurance you know, to last through that period, but also the humility to take into account all the different factors around you so you can make proper decisions. So that's the message of the day. This is Brian Wright, and I'm out. Hey, this is Brian again. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I'm bringing some value. Let me know what that value is. Like, share, comment, you know, help me make the rounds here. So uh, hopefully I'll get some more vlogs out this week and we can keep the conversation rolling. Later.